Hey everyone, what's up? This is Elvin Mark. Welcome back to the studio and we're here for the second sketchbook of 2023. And like the first one, we'll be using A Pao Hong. So if you missed out on the first sketchbook tour of 2023, please head on over to that link. Specs are 300 GSM and the size is 16 centimeters by 24 centimeters, which is also 6.2 inches by 9.4 inches. And it is hot press, so really, really flat. So the start date is on the 25th of February, and this is a journey from south to north all the way to the northern jetty. And um, Urban Sketches had met up that day for an event. From that jetty, at the most northern tip of woodlands, you're able to see Malaysia or Johor Bahru. That's really amazing. This one was when uh, the sketches were having a nice chat and I thought, wow, this would make a really good, neat watercolour and I started working on it. And someone came to chat up with me so I had to say hi because this person was new in the group and before I knew it, bam, someone called for a showdown or a show and tell and everyone left the scene so I just left it there. So sometimes this happens in my sketchbook I try not to let it happen as much and no, I won't, I won't finish it up at home because the values, the shadows and everything else would be wrong. So back on the daily commute and this one I was there long enough to be able to make this scene. I was on the purple line and uh, just saying hi. Uh, back at the social space. The last time I was there, I was there for a workshop. Didn't really have time to sketch the place. So this time I went down, had a lot of time to really sit, relax and decompress from the week's activities. And I was also able to make this sketch. And this is over at the social space at Kreta Aie or Chinatown. And this is over at Don Don Donkey. They have been putting out desserts. So I figured, okay, since I'm dining there at the little eating area that they have, I might as well sketch the dessert. A mousse cupcake, really, really delicious after a simple meal at Don Don Donkey. And this is again, more sketches on the train, also on the purple line. And this is visiting a friend, cross country. I decided to challenge myself instead of making an ink sketch, let's do a watercolor sketch. And that was what I did. Loads of things to carry that day, so I decided to hop on a uh, ride hailing service. More train sketches here. And for durian lovers, I found this place called Miss Durian. And they have puffs, macarons, cracklins, cakes, ice cream, etc, etc, even durian coffee. So everything there has a durian as the base. And it was just lovely being able to sketch all these pastries there. And this is part of the cafe. And I was doing a two-tone value, creating depth using two tones in this one video that I put out on YouTube. And this is waiting for a meal. I was standing in line. They are really popular in the Simlim Square area. So I decided to make a sketch while waiting for my turn. And this is visiting my really talented friend Tia Ling while she was performing at the Esplanade. And this begins the one week 100 people sketches that I made in 2023. This event happens sometime in March every year. And that's when all of us worldwide we head out to sketch 100 people and as usual because I don't have enough bandwidth during the week to make these people sketches so what I do is I sketch them all in one day or one within one session and on this day I did take a break to meet a friend as you can see I was really really busy that week so I only started this on a Tuesday met my friend for lunch in the afternoon and then came back for the afternoon to late afternoon to complete this. And all these sketches were done at Kampong Glam. And you can find this on YouTube. One week, 100 people sketches on Elvin Mark Studio, the 2023 edition. And yes, this is 100, but as usual, I would go a little bit more by 
pushing just that little bit just in case you'd find some of the 100 that I've done not really looking like human beings. So within the same session, I stumbled upon Coffee Donkey at Haji Lane. And this is a popular street, most Instagrammable street in Singapore, I believe. It's a new venture and I was so happy that they focus on their cups that the coffee is great but also all their cups look unique and different so this is the one that pairs with the matcha it's really lovely yes this is an extra sketch that i did off a staff at ttqm a quick massage place that i go to i find spots to put in all these extra bits so this is inside coffee donkey and uh, it was great meeting the stuff there and uh, all the pretty cups are lined up on the shelf right behind so I can actually make my request oh I like this cup or oh, I like this cup to pair with my coffee yes and this is at Don Don Donkey sketching the salmon sashimi with Aka AB this new thing that they've started selling and it looked really pretty to sketch so that was what I did and this is at TT quick massage next this is the full session when I was doing my foot massage and uh, this was waiting for my foot massage, yes. And I've decided to watercolor my steamboat fried fish soup while at three meals a day at Sim Lim. I really love this. This is really, really delicious. It's a tad bit hot because there's a, a kerosene system that, that burns. So it comes in piping hot and I think by the time my sketch is done, it's just nice to be able to consume this soup dish. And this is visiting E-Mart 24. It is finally here. This is the second outlet. It is a Korean convenience store. I was just so happy to immerse myself in there because being in there reminds me of my wonderful time in Gyeongju last year. Yes. Uh, I tried the corn dog and also the bingsu, but I really, really like the bingsu there. Just soaking in the atmosphere of a Korean convenience store. It's not even theme, it's, it's the actual thing that has come to Singapore. And over the next year or so, they'll be opening up another eight outlets. So hopefully, there'll be one near my area. This is heading back there again for another quick sketch session. There's a really huge dining area or eating area at the convenience store. So that's where I would make my sketch on a high table, sketching the people, preparing their food, picking up their food and also dining there. And yes, this is a chilled sikhe and uh, my spicy ramyeon which you actually cook over here in one of the booths here. Very interesting stuff. And this is back at Donkey Coffee, sketching from the window looking into the cafe. And this time, this is my cup. They really, really have pretty cups over there. And it's time to visit Ground Up Initiative or GUI. It's my first visit and it was organized by Huiling, one of the urban sketches. It's a very rustic place. Singapore would look like this about 30 to 40 years ago and they have recreated certain zones and also have allowed the public to come in to take part in the activities like cooking, wood building, farming, etc. to get the public to come back to using their hands. And this is where the volunteers are preparing food for the other volunteers out there. This is a 2.6 hectare land, so it's really huge. They are leaving the premise, uh, but fortunately they've gotten another piece of land about 500, 600 meters away. So that's good news. This is the top shop nearby the kitchen and they serve breakfast on weekends. So I'm having a longan muffin with my regular typical local coffee. This is Chef Derek Lau teaching the volunteers how to make all these things. That's amazing, yes. And the earth oven, I was, they were building this. They have two ovens at this point and they invited me to sketch the earth oven. So that was what I did. And right after, I headed over to the Live Tortoise and Turtle Museum where I had some fun with uh, the turtles and uh, yeah what a pure coincidence really uncanny that both the shell and the earth oven look 
a like. This is over at Touchwood GUI. I had gone back the second time to oil paint and I, I made this sketch of Mr. Lee who has been there ever since this place was set up in 2008. He takes care of this wood shop and this is where people can come in, uh, families too can come in to learn to build together things. Uh, this is at Golden Mall. I've been there a lot to sketch because it's closing down finally. Also known as Little Thailand. And back at TTQ Massage for another angle of this place. While I'm having my foot reflexology. Yes, this is my foot here. And uh, another lunch break over at 3 meals a day. Yes. Uh, they're so crowded that the time that I have to wait, I can actually use it to sketch. So that's perfect for me. And this is sketching a dango from the Sakura Matsuri event over at Nex. Matsuri means festival. And uh, sketching my friend's dance, the Lindy Hop. This is yet another session and these are my students over at 3 meals a day. I decided to sketch them while I was there. Uh, these are more friends dancing the Lindy Hop. Yes, yes, back at 3 meals a day, also known as Iru Santan. And yes, <laughs> I've been there a lot, yes. Oh yeah, so this is parking attendance booth over at Golden Mall Complex. This is really old school where you have an actual person in there collecting your money and issuing you a ticket to be able to park inside this 500 lot parking space. They will be closing down really soon, so we've been back there a lot to sketch. This is me on the purple line, and uh, back at Emart 24 for a coffee. So yes, this brings us to the end of yet another sketchbook tour. I hope you enjoyed this one. Thank you so much for watching this episode. Stay creative, stay inspired, keep on sketching. Thank you so much for your continual support by watching this channel. Thank you so much also for your comments and thank you for subscribing. This is Elvin Mark. Until the next episode, ciao ciao.